How's it going guys and welcome back to Miniverse. Now I've been watching a lot of Star Wars and found this awesome kit from Star Wars Legion. So I thought to myself, I have to recreate this iconic scene in diorama form. Now since this is going to be a pretty straightforward diorama, I'm going to be throwing some Star Wars facts at you throughout this video. For the structure of the diorama, I carved out some pink XPS foam using a hot wire knife so that the plastic crash site could fit right onto the diorama. I also found that using hot glue is an amazing way to fill the little gaps around the plastic kit. <laughs> now this is when it dawned on me. I'm making another desert Star Wars diorama, like I totally haven't done that before. So next time I think we might be visiting somewhere a little bit colder. So next I applied some sand paste all over the diorama to give it that cracked look that a sandy dry desert has. Now on to C-3PO. I painted him in elven gold and used a reductive technique for the shadows. Now C-3PO is a really cool model to paint, or rather, a really easy model to paint. So this was quite enjoyable to sit back, relax, and not strain my eyes too much. Fact number one. In some of the early story meetings, one of the writers of George Lucas tells a story how it might not have ended all so well. The original Return of the Jedi saw a much darker and evil ending, where Luke Skywalker doesn't turn Darth Vader back to the light side, but rather joins him in an evil tirade. Now I think this has been a rather interesting ending, maybe not the best ending, but I'd still have loved to see what Luke Skywalker would have looked like all dressed up in the dark robes and red lightsaber. Fact number two. Did you know Anthony Daniels, who is C-3PO, is the only actor to appear in all nine Star Wars trilogy films? He also comes in The Clone Wars and Rogue One 2. With C-3PO fully operational, it's time to paint the escape pod. To do this, I painted a couple of thin grey coats all over the diorama and then dry brushed lighter greys on top to add some diversity and battle damage. With the base coat now done, it's time to add an enamel black wash all over the escape pod and paint all the metallics in a standard silver. Fact number three. Yoda was almost played by a monkey. According to the book The Making of Star Wars by J.W. Rensler, George Lucas originally planned for Yoda to be played by an adorable little monkey wearing a mask and carrying a cane. Not quite the Jedi Master I think we we're all expecting. With most of the diorama now done, it was time to base coat the rest of it. Now it's my first time using Tamiya paints, so that was quite an interesting experience by itself. I started with a dark yellow and built up two highlights all the way up to a beige khaki colour. With the diorama now drying, I painted R2 and added a light grey wash all over him in the recesses to add some definition and shadows. R2, unlike C-3PO, had a lot of finicky detail, so with this one I had to pay close attention and make sure not to mess up any of those blue lines. Do you hear that sound? It sounds like another fact. Fact number four! Did you know, no one actually says the word Ewok at any point in Return of the Jedi. Now, I find this hard to believe, but apparently they were mentioned in the end credits. <laughs> so there you go. I never knew that one. Facts number five. Did you know Chewbacca's voice is actually a mixture of a badger, lion, seal, and a walrus?
Now back to the diorama. I added a heavily thinned down Agrax Earthshade wash, basically anywhere where there was crevices or where shadows should be. With the escape pod now glued down, it was time to add some weathering. To do this, I painted a heavy dilution of one to two coats of khaki all over to give it that deserty vibe. Fact number six. Did you know Yoda's original name was Buffy? And he was going to star in a prequel series called Buffy the Sith Lord Slayer. And there it is, a quick recreation of the film that started it all. Star Wars is definitely my favourite universe and I cannot wait to return in another episode. But until next time, I've been Reese, and I hope you all have a great week. Peace.